Yo, what's poppy? I'm in an RV and I'm bringing you August 18th Overwatch League news. This is the trade deadline window kind of thing, signing window thing. So there are no more like transactions going on. Anyway, early this morning we have at Summers47 on Twitter letting letting the world know what potiphon has been going through, right? He has had a wrist injury um, on and off for two years. He needs to stop competing and playing video games if he wants to cure it completely, but he doesn't want to. And he wants to just like break his body like as long as he can go basically um i suggest reading this thread if you want to know more i'm not going to go through the whole thing but basically he's only been playing overwatch six hours a day uh since he's joined overwatch league uh he can't really control his mouse and grip it as much as he'd like and things like that so and this uh as long as well as with the uh mental strain of playing in overwatch league and people telling you you're not good enough and all that stuff uh, it's taking a toll on him. Uh, I really hope Pot of Fun, you know, stops, like, gets all the help he needs, whether it be mentally, physically, or both, preferably, um, and just is able to have the mental strength to just st- take a step back from competing until he's 100%, or at least 90%, because right now he's not he's not near it, and it's staggering to me, because he has been one of the most impressive and the best stories from Overwatch, and even Valorant, because he says he's not going back to Valorant. So this is an elite player across two games where he's had multiple success, and he's having an injury on top of that. Absolute phenomenal player, and you really just have to hope for the best of him. Um, but anyway, moving to the actual roster moves. First, we have the Washington Justice giving the rights to Vigilante to the Atlanta Reign. So what does this mean? This means the Atlanta Reign support line features OG, Ultraviolet, and Vigilante. So why did they do this move? Well, it's always good to have insurance for a double flex support meta. We don't know what the next stage meta is. We don't know what the next playoff meta is. I anticipate maybe the next the, the Fox support comes in at some point. It's just impossible to know what's going on. Because there's not going to be another beta. So we're not going to know what, anything about the patch notes really. And they're probably going to do a specific patch for Owl, I would guess. Something like that. But it's just good insurance. OG has like has a good BAP and stuff, but you know who knows what's going on. We're just we're having a break Lucio meta. No one predicted that. And another thing it could do, right, is maybe the ultraviolet brig was not shaking up. Maybe they said we need a better brig player. Let's get bring in Vigilante. He cannot be worse or something like that. Because we saw Atlanta was really not good at the current meta at all, and. Ultraviolet didn't specifically have a great brig, right? So, uh, Vigilante may may very well come in and play most of this stage. So, I like this. I, I rate this. Seems solid. Seems like good insurance for a team that's looking to, to push themselves into, like, a playoff stage win or something. Moving on to the... Sorry, this is, a car is going by right by the window. I'm like, who's... You know what I mean? So, anyway... Now we have the LA Gladiators obtaining the rights to Happy. So this, it ties into the Potty Fun thing. I don't think this happens if Potty is at 100% at all. Um, and this also probably means that Ons was unable to pick up the Sojourn and Scrims, or he wasn't able to play consistently enough, or whatever it is. And they brought in Happy. And you know what? With a talent like the Happy available, if you have the funds to do it, if you have the means and the reasoning, go for it, right? Happy is so, so good at everything he does. He's so consistent. And he will be there on the Sojourn, on the Ash, on the Widowmaker, on whatever you need. And he will bolster this Gladiator's already top team Gladiator's roster. No more Shoe Sojourn. No more sh- Shoejourn or whatever, right? Put that away. Lock it up in a box. Bury it 10 feet underground. Put a couple of, couple of concrete slabs on it. I don't want to say it ever again. Uh, and we won't because Happy is here. And how can you really say no to this uh, I'm surprised more teams didn't really bid over for Happy. I guess most teams already have their hit scan situation taken care of. Uh, so this is just a, a good pickup. Again, a top team bolstering their roster and rounding it out more, possibly due to the Potiphon injury. And now we have the Washington Justice saying, this is the end for our moves. We are going to run with this roster of Kalios, Decay, Assassin, Opener, and Krillin. So you'll notice that's only five people, and the minimum is six, right? Well, they're saying they're assigning the six slot slash PSA. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what he means by that. A public service announcement. I mean, uh, whatever. Um, to a staff member. So basically, bending the rules a little bit, something similar to what New York did, 
and they're just not really having a, a six player. I'm surprised they didn't like pull up Vulcan again or something stupid like that. Maybe he was done playing the, the sixth string or whatever. But basically, it's a five man roster. So I don't know who the staff member is. I don't know if they'll even bother to announce it. I don't know if they're required to or whatever. But that's what it looks like, which is a, a little scummy. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to discredit this Washington Justice team anymore. So, we saw they still look decent in this first week. And yeah, Mag was very good on the Joker Queen. Can Kalios do what he was doing? Maybe not next week. But, this is a team that their ownership behind them does not believe in them. But that's not going to stop the coaches and the players from giving it 110%. Because, they're not going to play to lose. They still have their careers to think about. They still want to play as good as they can. And maybe they're going to try and prove that their franchise wrong. That they're going to really make a deep run somewhere and play with, with real ferocity, you know. I wouldn't be surprised if that end up, ends up what's happening. And uh, they, they make a solid run for the rest of the season. I, I could actually see it. You know, kind of like a, like a reject buff in a way. Because they're like their, their own team didn't want them in a way. But that's going to be it. I don't know what the hell that was. That's going to be it for me. Let me know your thoughts on these movements and this uh, injury announcement. Uh, let me know your thoughts on that. Like this video if you like it. Subscribe for more daily Overwatch League content. Thank you so much for watching and have yourself a good one. Deuces.